Jim Moran. I'm the communication specialist with the Village of Antioch. Uh, real quick, I wanted to go through a rundown of who our speakers are today, uh, and then I'll turn things over to Chief Gutchow. <clears throat> so speaking first will be Antioch Chief of Police, Jeffrey Gutchow. Jeffrey with a G, and the last name spelled G-U-T-T-S-C-H-O-W. Antioch Police Commander, Charles Smith. Investi <clears throat> excuse me, investigations, investigations Sergeant Audra Bonarati is also up here. Her last name is spelled B-O-N-A-R-O-T-I and Audra, A-U-D-R-A. How Family Spokesperson, Matthew Demartini. Demartini is spelled D-E capital M, A-R-T-I-N-I. -I. And Tom and Mary Margaret Howe. Mary Margaret is spelled as one word, two capital M's. Common spelling for Mary and Margaret. So I'll turn things over to Chief Gutchow. Thank you. So good morning, everybody. My name is Chief Jeff Gutchow. I'd just like to start real briefly by thanking you and assisting in our efforts to get the story about Tommy out to our community. Before I turn things over to Commander Smith, who's been overseeing this investigation since it began nearly three weeks ago, I wanted to take a moment to say that both as this community's police chief and a resident of this community, that I'm extremely proud of the level of love and support that has been showed to the entire Howe family by our town since the day this investigation began. I'd also like to extend my deepest thanks to hundreds of volunteers that have come out to assist in our searches for Tommy. I also wanted to recognize our law enforcement partners throughout Lake County and beyond for all the assistance they have provided in the furtherance of this investigation. I would ask that everyone continue to keep the Howe family in their thoughts and prayers as we continue to work to bring Tommy home. I'd now like to introduce my operations commander, Charles Smith, who's gonna update you on the case. Good morning, my name is Commander Charles Smith. On January 22nd, Tommy Howe was involved in a traffic crash on I-94 near Libertyville. A witness observed Tommy cross over the lanes of traffic and enter westbound into the old school force preserve. This unfortunately is the last time Tommy has been seen. The Antioch Police Department received a call from the Howe family at 8 p.m. to report their son missing. Information was learned from the family that it received cell phone location data from his personal cell phone. This led them to their son's vehicle being found at a tow yard in Vernon Hills crashed. The search of the vehicle showed airbag deployment. However, no direct indications of physical trauma were present. Yet, we have no evidence to rule out that Tommy wasn't injured. We immediately launched an investigation, which included a drone, canines, and search parties to look for Tommy. On Sunday, detectives learned Tommy had a work cell phone. Through investigation, we were able to pinpoint the location of cell phone in a wooded area in the old school forest preserve. Unfortunately, no other physical evidence was located near that phone. Throughout the last two weeks, multiple searches of this forest preserve have been conducted with the use of multiple canine units, drones, privately owned aircraft, our law enforcement partners, fire personnel, countless volunteers, and most importantly, members of the Howe family. Despite all these efforts, Tommy still has yet to be found. My investigators continue to follow all leads. With that, the United Police Department set up a tip line. That phone number is 224-788-4409, as well as an email to accept leads at tips at antioch.il.gov. We ask any information be forward, as all it takes is just a single solid lead to bring Tommy home to his parents and family. This remains an active police investigation. Our community remains committed to the Howe family as we work together to find them. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Demartini, the spokesman for the family. Thank you. Again, my name is Matthew Demartini. I'm the spokesman for the Howe family. And the family would like to thank everyone too. I would go through every department, not only uh, police, but fire, um, uh, any department who came out and helped, we'd be here forever if I thanked them all, but we do owe them a great deal of thanks. But despite 
all the efforts and all the resources we put forward. Uh, we still don't know where Tommy is. Uh, quite frankly, we've had hundreds of friends, family, even strangers walking around the forest preserve looking for Tommy, and there's nothing. Because we've not been able to locate him, the family at this time is announcing the reward of $10,000 for any information leading to his discovery. Details of this reward can be found at the family Facebook page, which is named Search for Thomas Tommy Howe. The reason for this reward at this time is simply that we know that we're just one tip, we're just one sighting, we're just one ring doorbell clip, we're just one person away from finding him. And that one person might not even know that they have the information that we need to find him. So we're asking if you have anything, please come forward. As insignificant as you might think it is, that might be the tip that brings him home. So please, if you know anything, please call or email the Antioch police. It is a testament to Tommy's personality and quite frankly his family that we've had so many people looking for him, hundreds of people. People who own airplanes have gone up on their own time and flown over the forest preserves looking. We've had hundreds of volunteers and thousands of social media posts uh, forwarded, spread around the world, and tips have been coming in, but we just need to spread the word further. Right now, most people see a face on a missing person poster, and they don't really know anything about Tommy himself. Worse yet, they might think something negative about him. So I want to let you guys know a little bit about Tommy Howe. He is the oldest son of Mary Margaret and Tom. He's the oldest of three siblings. He has a little brother and a little sister who just adore him, look up to him, and love him. He recently earned a degree in chemical engineering and graduated magna cum laude from Miami, Ohio. He is working in his field. He's about as successful as a 24-year-old can be. On the day of the car accident, he was driving back to Antioch from his apartment in Chicago to have lunch with his family because his siblings were going back to college a couple days and they wanted to get back together. On the way home, he called to say he was on the way and that was the last time the family spoke to him. He said he was on the way, he was just gonna stop at Target and buy a couple of presents for a, gift, for a party he was going to that night for his friends. When the family went to look at the car, the presents were in there. And why do I say this? Because we know that Tommy had plans. Tommy was living his life. He was gonna spend the day, the day he disappeared, with the people who loved and cared for him the most. There are no red flags in Tommy's life. There is nothing in his past or in his present which gives us any clue as to why he walked away from that accident. He has a bright and unlimited future in front of him. That is why we are only left with speculation and guesses as to where he is and to why he walked away. And that is why we are offering this reward because someone, somewhere, has to know something. And this family needs to know. So we implore you one last time and we thank the media for being interested in this story and for getting this word out because only someone coming forward and saying something will bring Tommy home. And with that, I'm going to uh, hand this over to the parents, Tom and Mary Margaret Howe. Get out of your way. I just wanted to share a few, to give you a little more insight on Tommy. Um, Tommy is a careless, selfless person who you can always count on. He's the type of person who never wants to make anyone feel excluded or left out. He loves his family, he loves all of his friends, and he's earned the love and respect of all of us. We're extremely proud of the person Tommy is. In his 24 years, he's accomplished more than we could have ever imagined, all while being one of the most humble people we know. He's the first person to drop everything he is doing to help someone else out. He's always there for others, whether it is sitting down at home to have a cup of coffee just to talk, to help make dinner when he's home, or just hanging around watching TV when he's home, he's always there to be present for others and all of his friends. 
he's the type of person that we all strive to be. So due to Tommy's nature, personality, an extremely strong bond with our family, we find this entire incident completely out of character. We are fearful that he has suffered a pretty good head injury due to the accident, causing him great confusion and to feel disoriented. We pray that he is seeking food, shelter, and shelter over the past 20 days, um, and that he's beginning to heal. In this healing process, we ask for help, everyone, and, and their assistance to help locate him and bring him home to us. Tommy, if you see this, and if you are confused, please know and remember how deep our love and care is for you and the strong bond that our family has. Please call us if you can. I know you would call us if you could. Please call us if you can. If you can't, if you can't, you can't remember, you can't remember the number, please go. Any local authorities, wherever you are, police station, fire station, anyone is graciously waiting and willing to help you, help you to bring, us home, bring you home to us. So please, everyone, please, 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 we ask for your extreme vigilance while walking around, driving down the road, taking a second to maybe look into the face of people that you see and just see if this truly could be could be our Tommy. Our Tommy may look different. He may have the ability to have a full beard. He may look completely different 20 days in. But please, please, we ask for your help and guidance to bring him home. Thank you. Hey guys, are there any questions? I'll take them. Yes, sir. Uh, of the, how many leads have actually come in and uh, fighting? That would be a question for law enforcement. Uh, the, the first part of the question is there, we've received over 200 leads so far. Uh, some of those we have turned out to be credible. However, we're, our investigators are still working closely with those tipsters to um, determine the priority we should put on them. And these are sightings? Are they believed to be? You don't believed know. to be sightings. We've um, had somebody see them in Las Vegas. So it's across the country. So at that point, when they come in, we prioritize them based on our credibility. In Las Vegas is one of many, many of the tips. Yeah. Thank you. So another question. Then again, on, on behalf of the Howe family, we cannot thank you guys enough. Um, getting word out is the best way to bring him home. So again. Uh, Everyone who's watching this, everyone who will watch this, everyone who shares it, everyone who spreads it, you are helping. So again, thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. One, one more question. Uh, you guys mentioned the, the trip line in the Facebook page. Um, it, can you just say that again, or is it on this computer? It's the search for, the Facebook page is a search for Thomas, in quotation marks, Tommy Howe is, um, is the Facebook page. The email and the phone number, it's on, it's on the release. Oh. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you everybody for coming out today. Like everybody up here has echoed, your outreach is critical uh, to this search. Um, any information that you guys need, feel free to follow up with me. I, I think all everybody, all the reporters in the room have my, my email address and phone number, so feel free to call me, uh, email me, text me, or whatever works. Uh, and then also the, the family's Facebook page is probably the best source for graphics for the, the reward poster and, and that sort of thing. Anything else, guys? Thank you for coming today. We appreciate it. They do have, they put an updated picture on their poster where he's had some facial hair in the past, so to try and get the best that we can. Thank you. Thank you, Jim.
Yeah, that's sweet. 